Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a slightly different mission to the one that we were supposed to have last time. Yeah, reason for that is... Well, I want to start off this, this, um... This, this little segment here by saying, don't ever use Bandicam, it's terrible. It, it doesn't, I, well, if you're using Sony Vegas like me anyway, uh, to edit, don't use Bandicam because it will delete all of the sound that recorded on your videos for no reason whatsoever, and even the video itself will become, it'll chop bits of it out for no reason whatsoever. So, yeah, I was trying to use Bandicam because I was hoping I'd be able to use it to record this game at 60 frames per second, which DX Toro for some reason seems incapable of doing, even though it can with every other game ever. So, uh, since that was a complete failure, I played through the mission that we were supposed to be doing, then got to the end of it, went to put it all together in Sony Vegas, and realized that the um, bandy cam had deleted all the sound, including my voice and the game. So it was completely unusable. So what I did uh, was basically... I scrapped it. I have started a new campaign because I couldn't go back to... There's no save games in this, you know. It just saves it at the current point of the campaign. You can't go back to a previous save. So I decided, screw it, I'll start again from the beginning. So I've started a brand new campaign, and nothing that happened last time, really, technically speaking, happened. We'll just chalk it up as a practice run or, or something. Because, um, yeah, basically I had to start a new campaign. On the bright side, though, it does mean that I've set up my difficulty settings properly this time. So I can actually have a look at our own plane externally. Which is nice. So, there we go. Unfortunately, yeah, technical difficulties screwed up that bit. And so I've started a brand new campaign. Um, just so that there weren't any accusations of, oh, you probably died and you were just covering it up. Because, um, you know, things happened. It wasn't, there weren't exactly boring missions I could have skipped over. So I've decided, screw it, we'll just start again. And I'll have to just be patient and we'll, we'll, we'll. We'll do this again, once again from the top. So, again, welcome to Let's Play IL2 Sternovic Iron Man. Um, where Flight Sergeant Dave is sat on the second wing of what, the, the, this, this flight we're sending out again over Dunkirk. And we're going to cover trucks in the target area, our, our supply trucks, basically. We'll fly on Flying Officer Dobson's wing. as Yellow 2, I believe, will be our call sign because we're in the second flight. The first flight is red flight, the second one is yellow flight. So we'll be yellow too. And uh, yeah, we're gonna fly across the channel, patrol this uh, sector over here, and hopefully not get shot down and killed. So yeah. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's, let's go, let's do this. I right to fly. Now, I have fine-tuned... Well, first things first, I've recalibrated my track IR. So now, hopefully, it should be working properly, and I should be able to, like, I don't know, you know, look down in the cockpit without it going completely and utterly mental. Although, I don't know, we'll see once it gets into the game. Um, and in addition, in addition to that, I've tweaked my um, pitch and rudder sensitivity for my joystick a little bit, because... Oh, come on. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, right. I finally managed to get a little load up this time. Don't know what's going on today. I think I must have pissed off the computer gods. They just they're throwing everything they can at me to make this impossible. I just just bleh. Aside from that error message we just got there, um I loaded up this mission and tried to record it with DX Tori, and DX Tori caused the game to sort of melt and die and explode. It made all the textures flicker black, and it just it reduced it to about five frames per second. <laughs> so DX Tori broke my game. So I've come back with Bandicam, but I sort of figured out what the problem was from last time I tried to record with Bandicam. It's because I had the wrong audio codec set. So yeah, I'm now recording with the one I used to the first video, and everything should be fine. Ugh. Uh, anyway, so, we're just waiting for these guys to get going. It'll be our turn very, very soon. And, um, as you can see, I can now look down in my cockpit. Hooray! Without without it going crazy, that is to say. Anyway. So, let's just uh, hang tight, and we'll be off in a second. 
Just gotta wait for the dust clouds to appear in front of our plane and that's how we'll know we need to go. Visibility was indeed that bad on takeoff in real life as well, actually. Um, they actually, in, I think in real life, they had guys sat out on the wings telling you when you were able to go. Because you just can't see anything past the nose of this plane. It's just how it was with World War II aircraft. But the Spitfire was particularly bad like that because it, it points up quite sharply from the ground. But, um, it's fine. One thing you can do is you can pivot your aircraft on the ground slightly by about a few degrees so you can just see past your nose in front of you. Um, but we don't really need to because you can tell when you need to go because of the dust clouds. So, Well, at least we're not being yelled at for being late with our takeoff this time. So that's cool. And uh, yeah. What have we got here then? Boosts, radiation... Radiation? No, no, no. Radiator temperature, fuel gauge, oil temperature, oil pressure, climb rate, variometer, I think that's called, uh, altimeter, airspeed, all sorts of good stuff, and a clock as well, I think. And I'm pointing my plane up far too sharply here. Whoops. I'll just stick autopilot on. And um, I think I will come back when we are across the channel and doing our patrol and hopefully once we've spotted something too, so... BRB, folks. For pilot weighing less than 175 pounds with parachute, forward CG limit may be exceeded as fuel state becomes low. I have no idea what that means, <laughs> but what I do know is that we are roughly six and a half thousand feet above the town of Dunkirk, dans la France, at present. I haven't seen any Germans yet. Autopilot's taking me out to space, um, but uh, hopefully we'll see something soon. Well, hopefully, he says. Do you want to live forever? Um, yeah, actually, <laughs> now that you ask. Um, but uh, that's, that's be, uh, we'll, we'll be seeing something soon, but yeah, Jesus, 7,000 meters now. We're so high up, in fact, that we're starting to leave vapor trails behind us. That's kind of incre incredible. Um, you guys weren't really expecting to find any Germans up this far, were you? That distant line does look pretty hideous. Unfortunately, it's set that low just but to give me a stable recording frame rate sadly because this is not what the game looks like on higher settings and higher settings it's actually kind of nice because you put it in open gl mode and you get loads of nice shader effects but sadly see the sacrifices i make for you guys so that i can make these videos for you mm -hmm. i can't even play my games in the full frame rate with the best graphics because i'm bringing the entertainment to you I'm kidding. <laughs> it's half the reason I'm doing this anyway. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't be playing this campaign if it weren't the fact that I wanted to record it, so I don't care. Besides, it's perfectly playable. That's the main thing. Oh my god. Where are the, the Jerry's? I mean, I'm just saying, squadron leader, they're supposedly attacking our supply trucks, right? Now, unless we have some... Ah, there we go. Right on time. Okay. Fighters, four o'clock low. There's lots of dots over there, is that? Oh, that's our ships. Okay, that's the small fleet, so-called, of little ships that has come to rescue our troops from Dunkirk. Oh, shut up about your bloody course. Wow, look at the vapor trails. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> um, all right, well, we've got fighters. I guess we better deal with them. What are you? One... Oh, I can't tell from here. I think they might be 109s. I don't see any second engi engines, so... Where are you lot going? I mean, I'm not going to engage if you're not going to. Bombers? Wait, what? What bombers? Because, I mean, as much as 
fun as it is, taking on M109s, we're kind of supposed to be here for the bombers, so... Oh! Those bombers! <laughs> okay. Just, there they go, there they are, right, yeah, that's a lot of bombers. Um... Well... Let me just trim out a bit. I'm, my plane's nosing up more than I'd like it to. So the question is, do we dive after the bombers, or do we deal with these fighters first? The ones that are flying straight at us, I might add. Well, one of them is, but he's already... ...taking some hits. Trailing smoke. Let's see if we can't put the final nail in the coffin. Well, his plane's... ...in good enough condition for him to take evasive action, apparently. Oh boy, he's trying to get me to black out. And he's nearly managing it as well. Cheeky devil. He's not out of it yet, is he? What? More fighters? Really? Oh Christ almighty. Just keep them off me, please. I should be paying more attention to what's going on around me, honestly, but... What are you doing? Oh my god. Right, okay. Need to ease off on the pulling up before I black out and crash into the sea. Right, well I'm not red leader, so... I think his engine's starting to fail. He's slowing down a lot. Some of those must have hit him. Come on, you bastard. Will you just die? Reflection shots like this, especially ones where he takes me into the goddamn sun. What's he trying? I think he might be trying to get me to stall out. Oh, I need to nail in here. I think I hit him, but he didn't do anything. Come on, give me some more emergency power. I need to get more. I need to get more speed. You're so finished, dude. Just give up. Bail out. Come on. You can't win this. There's just no way. Just bail out. And have it over and done with. You know what, these 303s really are just pea shooters. This guy's just shrugging off hit after hit after hit. Even the way right on his ass. My gun convergence just isn't set for this kind of distance. I think he's had it. I think he's had it. He's not going to be able to pull out that. Surely. Su there we go. Yeah, he's close. Dude, why did you didn't you bail out? You you idiot. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Ah. Well, the other kill. I should be feeling happy. <laughs> We did just kill another human being, but on the bright side, uh, it's another notch on our sword. 
well, you know, it's one notch on our sword because, you know, the last mission didn't technically speaking happen. So there we go, our first kind of kill. So where's everyone else? <laughs> That's why I want to know. Probably chasing those bombers wherever they've run off to. We lost a lot of altitude in that fight. We're back down to 600 meters. Probably all still up here somewhere. Oh, I don't want to fly into these clouds. Let's go around the side. I'm guessing that's where they, they must be. Out around these clouds here somewhere, because other, that, otherwise I'd be able to see them. Somebody from here, at least. Oh, engine, engine. Steady there, old boy. I know I've just put you through a bit of a... bit of a ringer. But, um... Calm down. Yeah, radiator temperature's getting pretty high. Hopefully that should lower it a bit. Reduce the prop pitch and open the radiator slightly. It'll slow us down, but right now... We, we seem to be pretty safe. I don't see any Jerry's. Our six is clear. Nothing in the mirror. It's just a matter of tracking down the rest of our squadron. Assuming they're not all dead, of course, but even then, like, I don't see any Germans who might have shot them down, so... Hello? For unfortunately, there's no, there isn't a radio command for... Hi, where are you guys? So, I can't ask, where are you? Sadly. I can only get back to the base, not to my... other... squad members. I could switch on autopilot and he'd probably fly me to them. But... I don't really want to do that. Let's cheese it a bit, really. Oh my god, where are they? I am lost, alone, over northern France. This is not good. Right, I can see the yeah the wreck of the dude we shot down over there. So we've still got some ammo, not a lot. Practically nothing, I imagine. I wasn't really keeping track of my bursts, but which again, something I probably should do. Um, but so I believe we only get 14 seconds of firing time with these, something like that, possibly less. But, uh, yeah, where the hell is everyone? Uh, there's a tr I see a shadow. Is that our shadow? Probably is, because the sun's over there. Holy crap. Did we fly into the Bermuda Triangle right here? The, 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 the Dunkirk Triangle? This is kind of spooky. They must surely all be in these clouds somewhere, I guess, but... This is a bit weird. How do you get, like, just sort of 20 freaking bombers and a bunch of Spitfires to disappear like that? I don't... Do Hello. Right, that's a burning wreck that I did not shoot down. So... There's evidence of their passing, if nothing else. Guys, where are you? <laughs> I'm getting worried. How's my fuel? That's probably a more important question. For about half a tank. It won't take half a tank, I don't think, to get back across the channel, but... At some point soon, I'm going to have to turn back just to be on the safe side. God, my neck's getting kind of sore from all this looking around. We're not lost, Private. We're in Normandy. Well, you know, Calais, but who gives a damn? Somebody will have got that reference. I hope. Oh, oh, okay. So other humans do exist within radio range. Apparently. I'm assuming there are somewhere in this cloud bank, but I can't be sure. You know what, I'm going to try and climb a bit. Let's gain some altitude. 
radio should have cooled off a bit by now. I think I can up that prop pitch and throttle. Well, I guess, folks, this is war in a nutshell. Like, like. <laughs> 20% absolute abject terror and 80% uh, boredom. My goodness, I don't even see any dots. I'm convinced they're off in these clouds somewhere. I, I completely am. I just think they would have flown out of the other side by now, you know? Maybe they're above the clouds, in which case I need to do some more climbing. Either way, I am going to skip ahead until I find someone, or decide to bug out and go home. Hello, friend! Hello! Other poor, lonely soul stuck out here. I just got a message over the radio that someone shot someone else down. There was a congratulations on a good kill. But again, <laughs> don't freaking see anyone. Other than this guy up here. Uh, I'm really close to giving up by this point. I really am. How's my fuel? Mm, once we hit a third of a tank, I'm going to go. That's probably more than enough to get us back, but on the, I want to play it safe at least. <sighs> yeah, I, I just I have no idea. I have no freaking idea where everyone is. We'll probably find out in the debriefing, of course, but yeah, this is just confusing. If there's somewhere in this cloud, I am not going to be able to find them. And if they're not in this cloud, then they're obviously very far away from here, so... Because they're clearly, wherever they are, for the most part, beyond radio contact, because I'm just getting no radio messages other than the occasional one. So they must be pretty far away. They must have pursued those bombers, a little, you know, like, way, way across enemy lines, like down here or something, because... There's a bunch of air bases down here they might have been headed back to, so... And if that's the case, screw it, I'm going home. We've bagged ourselves one kill. We shot down a 109. Feel pretty pleased about that. So, yeah, let's 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 get out. Let's get let's go home. Let's go home, folks. Let's get out of here before we run out of fuel, and before my engine kills itself because I've been abusing it too much. Okay, now on the final approach. Didn't see anything on the way back across the channel other than a crap load of clouds. Seem to be everywhere. I think the weather's taking a turn for the worse. Wait, what? Oh. Where the hell did you come from, Red 3? Where the hell are you? Where the hell is he? He hasn't got a response from Tower. God damn it, I aborted my approach for nothing. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello, Red 3. Oh, okay, yeah, I probably should let him land. He's taking some damage by the looks of things. Oh, boy, is he going to even make it there? Oh, looks like he's touched down on the ground there. Alright, oh, trees. Trees in this game are evil, by the way. They look fine from up here, but when you get a bit lower, they're just 2D sprites. And they become sort of invisible, and you can accidentally crash into them a lot. Yeah, it looks like he's just sort of... taxiing along down the hill. <laughs> okay. Um, well... Ground control. Am I clear to land? Yeah, apparently I am.
All right, let's go get down. There he is. Hey, Red 3. How you doing? Flaps down. Let's try and make this as smooth as humanly possible. But this is me we're talking about, so I'm probably going to bounce around all over the place. Whoa. Okay. That wasn't too bad. We even got bonus points for doing a wheelie there. <laughs> Oh, steady with the brakes. Steady, steady, steady. Alright. Let's get off the runway before Red 3 gets down here and crashes into us. Where is he? There he is, just texting down the hill. <laughs> Without a care in the world. Let's go park ourselves over here. next to the deck chairs. There we are. Back home, just in time for tea and medals, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, right. There we go. Ugh. Wait a minute. Is this? What is that? On the table. Is that a chessboard? I think it's a chessboard. Hold on. I'll just take off head tracking. Ha! <laughs> it's a chessboard! <laughs> I wasn't seeing things. We got another one over here. Apparently, it's a big thing with this squadron. Well, I guess. There we go. We'll switch off the engine, raise our flaps. Anytime. There we go. And I guess we'll sit around here and play a game of chess with Red 3. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, what did everyone else get up to? Alright, JXS. JXF. Those are the only two it's letting me see. They're still. Christ almighty, they're still on the other side of the channel. That's just. They're just going past Cali, I think. Yeah. Well. Let's quit the mission and find out what happened then in all that chaos that I didn't get to see. <laughs> okay, so six Spitfires, Rigby, Ersman, Gregory, Channon, Dobson, and Dave. All new names, of course, because unfortunately this is a new campaign. Um. Enemy, two BF-109Es, 15 to 20 hindcalls, which mysteriously freaking disappeared, and Adornia 17. Rigby got a kill, Shannon got a kill, we got a kill. And we lost Rigby and Earsman. One confirmed kill, right, yeah, total of one confirmed kills, because like I said last time, apparently didn't count because of technical issues, but never mind. Um... So, that was a fine mission. You make good co progress as a combat pilot. Woo! Uh, he has been shot down by an HE-111. Okay, so one of the high called gunners presumably took him out. Looks like they knocked out our trucks in spite of our best efforts. Rigby was shot down by a high call as well. And there's the 109 we shot down. Wait, so when I was flying around here, I think the smoke thing I saw, which I thought was the one we shot down, I think that was actually Rigby. Because the 109 was over here, near Dunkirk. Uh, it's the, one in, the other 109 shot down by Rigby. And HE-111H2 shot down by... Oh, they must have had a collision. That's why they were... That's why it, it was briefly raining aircraft parts when we were looking at that bomber, the bomber formation earlier. Uh, now that does happen sometimes. It happened in real life too, so, you know. And apparently Channon shot down HE-111. Right, the, yeah, they were already way over here. Yeah, they were all miles away from where I was. They were down here, like, near Merville, crying out loud. Um, so, yeah. 
that's when I think I was flying around looking for people and I heard a radio message saying, Good kill! It was probably Channon shooting down this guy. So there we are, and then we squiggly wiggly our way back over here and we land. And that's the mission. So, let's apply and find out what happens next. Alright, Amner and Clench join the squadron. Clench. Ugh, what a name. <laughs> uh, we are again going out on patrol near Dunkirk, by the looks of things. This time we're protecting an important depot. So they sent the people least qualified to do so, apparently. We'll fly on Le uh, sorry, Lieutenant Marshall's wing. Somebody asked, uh, by the way, if if we spell it Lieutenant in England, even though we say it Lieutenant, and yeah, we do. We spell it exactly like that, and yet we still say Lieutenant for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so we'll be on Marshall's wing. Yep, there's four of us going out this time. Only four of us. That could end in disaster. Um, but okay. 19,000 feet. Alright, well, we'll have the altitude advantage, whatever happens, I think. So, join me next time, then, where we will be flying across to Dunkirk again and hopefully not getting killed again. Um, so, yeah, join me for that. Or don't. It's kind of up to you.